that make the city's endeavors a success. Our department heads, our city employees, the men and women at City Hall, and the citizens who have stepped up to be a part of the city's success all deserve praise. I want to thank everyone in my family who has been there for me through the immense highs and the devastating lows. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Coming into office, there was a desperate need for new direction in Peru. The chaos and upheaval in our police department was making headlines across the state. People felt that things had become stagnant and both vision and direction had been lost. There were many challenges for the city at the beginning of the year. The most pressing of those matters was the uh, police department and the chaos that had been created therein. When I was running for office, I spoke to our officers and I had asked them, what is it that you guys need? And they told me, Gabe, we just need leadership. And I thought, leadership? Is that really it? Is that all? I almost couldn't believe it. So I appointed a new chief, an officer with 21 year plus years on the force, an officer who had the confidence of the public and the confidence of his fellow officers. The positive changes were felt immediately, and our officers fell back into doing what they, what they do best, serving our city. Mike Meeks was that officer, and I cannot thank him enough for his hard work and commitment to serving the public. <laughs> Other changes I did not see coming took a little longer to figure out. Coming into office, we found computers, firearms, cell phones, and iPads missing. Over the course of the next few months, we were able to track the items down and get them returned to the city. <laughs> and that isn't all that was returned to the city. Officers that had years of untarnished service to the city before they left under the arrest last year uh, also returned to the job that they loved in the community that they longed to serve. Josh Olry, Sam Finnegan, and Jeremy Brindle brought back to the art department experience and skills that were sorely missed. That is not to mention Officer Finnegan's year-plus struggle for justice after being unfairly singled out and fired. Sam has been vindicated by the courts, which described his termination as arbitrary and capricious. <laughs> we have also returned K-9 units to our police force with the spirited support of the community. The police department hosted a port pit dinner to get things rolling, and businesses and citizens also stepped in in their time of need. Bond Lake Kennels uh, gave discounts to the city for the dogs and the training. The department was awarded a $750 grant from the Miami County Substance Abuse Council, and the Miami County Prosecutor's Office pitched in $2,000 more. Denise Richards, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Denise Ryan donated proceeds from the selling of t-shirts she had made in support of the officers last fall. Denise then took that and added a personal donation in memory of her son, Jack, and donated all of it to the police department with a stipulation that it go to the revival of the K-9 program. Little Chloe Hicks posted a weekend lemonade and cookie stand and a heartwarming, heartwarming act of kindness of a, nine, of a seven year old girl. The story picked up immense media attention, shedding the light on the fact that the folks in Peru truly have big hearts. Those weren't the only great stories from the fundraiser and altogether we received almost $30,000 to revive our K-9 program to the city. And the results were immediate to see. Within the first month of having the K-9 back on our force, uh, we, they were assisted in eight um, uh, arrests. Thanks. As the city clerk treasurer, Tish Soldi, and I dug into the budget, we were shocked to find that the city was headed towards a financial cliff. Working with our departments, we identified where the most pressing needs were. And with the help of on-ball financial advisors, we developed a five-year plan to meet our department's most pressing needs and set a path back to a healthy financial future. The complete diagnostic provided by the financial advisors, advisors which I as a city council member never knew existed before, uh, was given to the public, the, uh, the press, and to each member of the city council for full transparency by the city clerk treasurer. We were also able to find immediate savings, including insurance savings over uh, insurance savings of over sixty-three thousand dollars per year by shopping around. We also had to make difficult cuts in our existing budget to find money to fix problems with our IT, our network, and our servers, in a continuing effort to get our, our our systems legal and up to date. My focus at City Hall has been to foster partnerships throughout the community to do great things. Uh, we have started to see those partnerships flourish in our city in a variety of ways. 
with the public collecting bottle caps, donating money, and delivering it all to Southern Indiana to be turned in for park benches. And Steve Anderson has again led the community, has again led the way in a community project uh, to restore and keep the historic train cars that we all know as Ron Schwartz, uh, the siding restaurant. And they will be added to the to our park system as a unique and celebrated part of it. The city is also an active partner with the Rediscover Downtown Peru Group, donating money to be used as matching funds for facade improvements downtown and other downtown uh, assets and events. We've also continued the awning program, which rewards building owners for improvements on their buildings. And our downtown businesses have invested thousands in our downtown as part of these programs. Our community's hard work and, and perseverance is paying off in big ways. Businesses such as Riverview Funeral Home, Dollar General, McClure's, and others represent millions of dollars of new investment in our community and the jobs that come with them. And the investment doesn't stop there. The city is currently reviewing plans and working, on, and working with companies on four different locations within the city, which represents multi-millions of dollars of additional investment and jobs that they afford. <laughs> Much more hard work is needed to meet the demands of tomorrow, too. The Miami County YMCA is working to build a new building that will help our community in countless ways. From renewed focus on health and community to new development interests and, and what our town has to offer businesses and employees. The pattern has been seen again and again throughout the country. When a community invests in a new YMCA building, uh, a revitalization of communities follows. We all have to work together for this worthy cause. We must realize our challenges go beyond what is immediate and obvious, such as good paying jobs and affordable living. We are a shrinking community that must take strides to grow. That includes providing amenities that people have come to expect in a thriving community, like excellent schools, a vibrant downtown, bike paths, and excellent parks, and a well-maintained properties. We also have a severe lack of high quality homes for sale. Many professionals come to our community looking for housing and end up going to Kokomo, Carmel, or other communities because we do not have the housing they're looking for. The city, city Hall must advocate for this type of development too, or we will continue to see the decline in our population. I am proud of the success, and I am excited about our future challenges. We must acknowledge where we need improvement, accept our faults, and strive for our best. But we do not have to fight this fight alone. We are together, we, and Peru has proven that again and again. We have come to the aid of our neighbors in Kokomo in their time of need. We have come to support our police officers in their time of need. And we have supported each other every day. Together with open hearts and minds, we can achieve anything. Um, that uh, is the end of my comments. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight to listen to me speak about the state of our city. Uh, we do have um, statistics for the first half of the year. Uh, for anyone's interested, and uh, we'd like a copy. Thank you.